Hello, my name is Adam Shoemaker, and I'm Vice Chancellor of Victoria University and really delighted to be here with you. I'm excited to be your host tonight for the 2022 VU Alumni Awards. Now, you know this is important. It's important to us and to you. This year's winners are leaders and innovators from around the world. And today, we celebrate their incredible impact on their industries and communities. We received very strong nominations this year from our staff, alumni, and friends of the university. Before we present our finalists and announce our winners, I'd like to introduce Janet Galpin of the Boonwurrung Foundation for the Welcome to Country. Janet, thank you so much. Woman Jika. Woman Jika is the Boonwurrung language word for come with purpose. So woman jika, miram fik fik, bunwarang, namder berupton atawilam, translates come with purpose to our beautiful home, land of the two bays. Your purpose today is to be here for the Victoria University annual alumni awards. You know that if you're awarded here, it's because of your extraordinary, powerful positive, enduring community experience and the contribution that you are making wherever you are in the world. Congratulations to all of you. And my purpose here today is to deliver a welcome to country. We have the pleasure of welcoming you from whichever country you are from. I am a direct descendant from our First Peoples and cousin to Nawi, Dr. Carolyn Briggs AM, the elder of the Bunwurrung and Yalakut Wheelam, whose lands I am on today. We are the custodians of our lands that extend from the Wilson's Promontory in the east to the mouth of the Werribee River in the west, encompassing both of our beautiful bays, Western Port we call Murren and Port Phillip we call Nam. This country is unceded land. It's not only my great pleasure to welcome you all here today, but it is my responsibility to ensure that you come with purpose, Waminjika. I do so not only on behalf of my ancestors, but also on behalf of all First Nations people on whose lands we meet today. First Nations people across Australia all share a special connection to the lands and the waters of their ancestors. And this has not been disconnected from the millennia, despite dispossession, displacement and discrimination that we have experienced in the last 200 plus years. These connections date back to our creation stories. For the Bunwarang, our creation story tells us about Bunjil, our creative spirit who travels as an eagle and how he created the lands and the waters around where we meet today. He taught us about the circular relationship that we have with these lands and waters. We care for our lands by adhering to our Warangi Bik, our laws of the land, our customary laws. Much like our laws today, these laws dictated how we interacted with each other and how we interacted with the land and how we conducted ourselves while we were on other people's country. The Bunwurrung Warangi Bik speaks, speaks of three specific laws. The first Ulenge is the responsibility that we have for knowledge and that that knowledge is to be passed down so it can be used by future generations. The second, the law of Jimbana. This law speaks of community, the importance of community, the importance of diverse community, but a unified community. The power of diversity widened our lands and increased our capabilities. Finally, the last law is our connection to country, or we might call it honouring sacred ground, paying respect to past generations, the people who took care of the land before us and the people who have lived and died on this land before we were here, paying respect to the stories and the histories on the lands of where we live today. We are very fortunate in Australia to have 80,000 plus years of human history. And it is most important always to pay respect to that history. And if we can adhere to these three Warangi Bik, we live in a far better world. Thank you and congratulations, everybody. Thank you for welcoming us today, Janet. It's so important to hear your words and to understand the sentiment behind those words. 
I too wish to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we're presenting today, the Wanjiri Woiwurrung, people of the Kulin. Janet's welcome to country had me reflecting on the university's own role in protecting country and what we can do collectively and individually to respect both the history, but also the sovereignty and self-determination of First Nations peoples. It's an everyday thing, not just a once a year thing. It's all the time for us. There could not be a more important time to make these constitutional changes in Australia. It's also a very, a very timely reminder to the entire VU community to always listen to First Nations voices and standpoints. With over 270,000 Victoria University alumni from more than 140 countries around the world, we honor our deep diversity. It is the foundation of social progress, of knowledge sharing, and of respect at this institution. We're now very excited to announce our 2022 Victoria University Alumni Award winners. This year, we're presenting the following. The Rising Star Alumni Award, the Professional Achievement Alumni Award, the Lifetime Achievement Alumni Award, and the Spirit of Victoria University Alumni Award, voted for by the public. Hi, my name is Sedef Ozen. I'm a second year psychology student at Victoria University, as well as the chairperson for the Students as Partners initiative at VU, bringing students and staff together for collaborative change. We received amazing nominations this year from staff, students, alumni, and friends of VU. Tonight, it is my pleasure to introduce the 2022 Victoria University Alumni Awards. The Rising Star Alumni Award. The Rising Star Alumni Award recognises a young VU alum who is demonstrating significant early career and or community service achievements, bringing pride to VU. This year's finalists are Louise Bibby, Dr. Morley Muse, Zore Rahabi, and Sasha and Suman. It's outstanding to recognize Lauren Richardson, 2021 Rising Star Alumni Award winner, and she'll now present the award to this year's winner. Thank you, Lauren. Hi, my name is Lauren Richardson. I was the recipient of the Victoria University Rising Star Alumni Award in 2021. It was a privilege to have won an alumni award. It allowed me to reconnect with VU and share my professional journey. After leaving school in year 10, I became a beauty therapist and I then entered university later on. I undertook a Bachelor of Health Science with VU before completing an honours year in Medical Science, Health Services Research, and then undertaking a double master's in public health and global health. I worked in senior roles across Victoria's COVID response in health policy, and I also had my second baby during that time. Winning the Alumni Award really gave me the confidence to continue being brave and really challenging myself. Since that time, I was selected for a secondment at the Grattan Institute Policy Think Tank, and I've been appointed as CEO of Chase. Um, a not-for-profit organisation enabling and empowering disadvantaged youth in Melbourne's West through health education and community engagement. It's my absolute pleasure to introduce this year's Rising Star Alumni Award winner. She graduated with a Bachelor of Laws at Victoria University. While at university, she did her internship at West Justice, where she developed a passion for youth crime and ensuring that young people are fairly represented. She currently works as an associate at the Supreme Court of Victoria. She aspires to be a barrister to continue advocating for young people experiencing family violence and social inequity. She also believes in giving back and volunteers as a mentor to support the VU law community. She aspires to become a barrister in the near future to continue advocating for people, especially young people, experiencing social inequity and ensure that they receive a fair trial. The Victoria University Rising Star Alumni Award winner for 2022 is Sasha Ann Suman. Let us now hear from Sasha. 
my name is Sasha. I studied a Bachelor of Laws Honours at Victoria University and I'm now Associate to the Honourable Justice Hollingworth at the Supreme Court of Victoria. So as Associate to the Honourable Justice Hollingworth, I support Her Honour, who is the Principal Judge of the Criminal Division at the Supreme Court of Victoria. I get to be involved in some of the most serious criminal matters in Victoria and assist the Principal Judge here some quite technical legal arguments about them. So it's all really fascinating and it's preparing me really well for my future career as a barrister. During my studies, I volunteered in a few different capacities. I was the Director of Education of Dictum Society, which is the Law Student Society of Victoria University. There I ran some different programs and events to help students with their studies. I was also a mentor to some other students and that experience stood out to me because I was able to work with them one-on-one. -on -one. And because I was able to work with them so closely, I was able to see improvements in their coursework and their overall well-being just from being involved in the mentoring program. Um, Victoria Uni also got me in contact with some legal organisations like Victoria Legal Aid and West Justice Community Legal Centre, where I was able to start getting actual legal experience. At West Justice specifically, I assisted the lawyers represent some quite vulnerable young people, and a lot of them were experiencing issues like family violence and homelessness. So it was really rewarding assisting them. And that experience just showed me that that's what I want in a career. I want to be a voice for people experiencing hardship and be someone who ensures that they receive a fair trial. I feel really honoured to have won. It's really lovely. It's, um, it feels really nice to be appreciated for the work that I've done. My advice for current students would be firstly to just try as hard as you can during your degree to begin with. But then secondly, and maybe even more importantly, just network and make as many connections in, the, in your industry as you can. The Professional Achievement Alumni Award. The Professional Achievement Alumni Award recognises an alum who is aged 36 and older, who makes a difference in their field of endeavour and inspires others through their achievements and conduct. This year's finalists are Dr. Rwangi Fernando, Aaron Fitzgerald, Andrew Shea, and AJ Williams Chen. Erin Finnegan, the 2021 Professional Achievement winner, will now be announcing this year's recipient. Thank you, Erin. Hello, my name's Erin Finnegan, and in 2021, I was the recipient of the Victoria University Professional Achievement Alumni Award. It was an honour to have won an Alumni Award in 2021, and particularly uplifting for me amongst lockdowns when pandemic pressures intersected so heavily on our professional lives. But today is not about me. Today I am very excited to introduce the 2022 Professional Achievement Alumni Award winner. This year's winner is a proud Aboriginal man of Wiradjuri and Wadjabalik background. He has dedicated most of his career to collaborating with communities, schools and universities to support young Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people by providing them with a safe environment to grow. He is a fierce advocate for mental health and cultural awareness and uses his experience to lend a voice to the Indigenous people who are silenced by their trauma. The 2022 Victoria University Professional Achievement Alumni Award winner is AJ Williams Chen. Well done AJ, you are a deserving and worthy winner. Now let's hear from him. Oh, hi, my name is AJ Williams Chen. My background's Rajri and Watcher Bullock. Uh, my family come from Dimbola, Horsham, and Dubbo Wellington of New South Wales. I'm the director and founder of Giroi Genyi Consultancy. Uh, Giroi Genyi actually provides cultural awareness training, mental health first aid, mentoring programs in schools with Aboriginal kids, and cultural support programs for uh, Aboriginal workers in the workforce. I was a student at VU in 1994 to 1997. Um, do my Bachelor of Social Work and then in 2000 I did a Masters of Education and Training. It was a great course so it didn't matter where you ended up working you can I have the skills to be able to work with anybody anywhere at any time. So Girai Geni Consultancy was established in 2006. I was working at the Western Suburbs Indigenous Gathering Place at the time and one thing that we noticed was that there was no cultural awareness training for any of the workers. So I put together a little cultural awareness package and started delivering it through to the 32 hack organisations. And then slowly my business started to get 
a name for itself and now we actually run a national company. Winning this award is quite uh, humbling. It's quite um, an honour. It is really recognition for the contributions that I've done. Even though I probably don't realise how much I've actually contributed until it's all been packaged together to actually go, well, what is it that you've actually achieved over a period of time since graduating from Victoria University? So my advice to new graduates is feel proud of the qualification that you get from VU. The skills and knowledge that you actually get throughout the courses that you do is really exactly what the industry is actually looking for. Dream big, never give up on your dreams. It may take a few pathways to get to your dreams, but what I love about somewhere like Victoria University, there's many ways of actually getting to your dream. You just need to be able to not stop dreaming. The Lifetime Achievement Alumni Award. The Lifetime Achievement Alumni Award recognises an alum who has built an outstanding and impeccable reputation based on their all-round contributions to their profession, vocation and their community, bringing pride to VU through their embodiment of the VU spirit. This year's finalists are Felicity Top Professor Guangdong Xu Dr Janet Lawrence and Hamza Wario. Our 2021 Lifetime Achievement Alumni Award winner, Dr. Andy Diamond, will be handing the award to this year's winner. Thank you so much, Andy. Hello, my name is Andy Diamond. I'm the CEO of the City of Monash. I was the recipient of the Victoria University Lifetime Achievement Alumni Award last year. Not only was the award unexpected, but a very real privilege to have won this award. VU and the opportunities it has provided me are so linked to my career path. My opportunities at VU have given me the confidence and courage to do things I would not have dared to have done. It is now an absolute honour to introduce this year's Lifetime Achievement Alumni Award winner. She graduated with a graduate diploma in health counselling at VU. She's a trained nurse who completed her critical care training at the Royal Melbourne Hospital before moving to South Arabia to work as an ICU nurse in a manager role after the Gulf War. Described as a rebel and an unlikely leader by her teachers in her early years, her career path proves just how wrong they were. She has dared to call things out, not just talk, but to set in motion change. As the current CEO of Peninsula Health, she is committed to changing the way healthcare is delivered in communities in Victoria, something we all know is very important. The 2022 Victoria University Lifetime Achievement Alumni Award winner is Felicity Top. A huge big congratulations to Felicity, well done. Hi, I'm Felicity Top. I'm the Chief Executive here at Peninsula Health. I did the Graduate Diploma in Health Counselling back in, I want to say 1999, but it seems like such a long time ago. And I studied at the newly open or relatively newly open campus at Sunshine. I remember doing the Graduate Diploma in Health Counselling because it was an interesting, busy time for me because I was working in intensive care as a registered nurse, but in a role that was doing a lot of family support and family liaison, um, which is what prompted me to, to do the course. Peninsula Health is a healthcare organisation that has um, a number of facilities at Frankston and the Mornington Peninsula. We care for people from birth to death really. Um, we've got all services here across Peninsula Health, um, 7,000 staff members and a budget of about $800 million. What I do is lead people to deliver the strategy and the work of the organisation that you're leading. So uh, my job is all about people, really, and, and strategy, but I spend a lot of time talking and, and influencing and engaging and exciting people about the work that they do. 
the new building is fabulous. It's going to look fabulous. It's going to be a um, world-class facility for the people of the Frankston and Mornington Peninsula. A hospital facility like this will give our community the confidence that they've got great care on their doorstep. And I think the hospital will help shape Frankston as a place to be. Very humble, actually. You know, it was unexpected and uh, it did take me back to that time that I was studying and, and, and studying at BU and it was a good time in my, in my life. I loved working in critical care. I loved working in the ICU at the Royal Melbourne and, and doing this study. So, yeah, it, it's, a, it's an honour actually to be recognised. You, you, you know, I've always just worked because I love working and I've, you know, I always say um, getting through high school was a pretty big achievement for me. So actually doing all this other work and then actually being in a seat like this, oh gosh, who would have ever thought? Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's great. It's great to be recognised. Take the opportunities. One door will open, go through it. Another door might close. Don't worry about it. Something else will happen. I have a, have um, applied for jobs that I thought I desperately wanted and have missed out, and then have been disappointed. But you know, very quickly something else happens, and it's better. In fact. The Spirit of VU's People's Choice Award provided another opportunity for you, our VU community and family, to get involved, to have your say, to vote for the finalist you believed best enacted the VU ethos. Thank you so much to those who voted this year. And to our finalists, thank you for sharing your stories with our VU community. They are all phenomenal and deserving, but we can only have one winner. Our 2021 People's Choice, Abiola Akinbi, is excited to announce our winner this year. Abiola, please do us the honor of announcing our 2022 Spirit of VU People's Choice Award winner. Hi, my name is Abiola Akinbi. I'm a registered nurse, a former IT professional, a community advocate, and an entrepreneur. I was the recipient of Victoria University Spirit of VU People's Choice Award last year. It was an absolute privilege to have won an alumni award more so an award chosen by members and friends of VU community. Receiving the award allowed me to share my story, one of passion, dedication, and resilience. Today, I'm very excited to introduce the 2022 Spirit of VU People's Choice Alumni Award winner. This year's winner is a proud Aboriginal man of Wiradjuri Awajud Bullock background, with over 30 years of experience working in areas of mental health, community service and education. He is the founder of Jiraway Way Ghani Consultancy and is a passionate advocate for mental health, cultural awareness and literacy in Indigenous people. He is also the winner of this year's Professional Achievement Alumni Award. This is the first time we've had an alumni win across two categories, which is a testament to the impact he's made in his community and industry. The 2022 Victoria University Spirit of VU Alumni Award winner is AJ Williams Chen. Congratulations, AJ. Did I expect to win this award? No. Um, oh my God, I don't know what to say. The work that I do is not always about me, it's about the community, it's about getting messages out there and Obviously the messages are getting out there because of the support that I actually have received uh, winning the Spirit of VU Award. I want to acknowledge the other finalists because reading your bios, I went, wow. Um, I never thought, I actually looked at all the great work that, actually, that they've actually done. And it was hard to try to make a comparison between what I do compared to what they do. So to win this award really makes me proud to be in the same categories uh, of the, my peers. And I want to thank the people, uh, my friends, my family, my community, those that have actually uh, supported me throughout my career. Um, and thank you for the award. 
Congratulations to all of our 2022 Alumni Award winners. It is often said that we do not spend enough time in life recognizing true pioneers. That is what tonight is about. That is what VU is about, and that is what these awards are about. I'm extremely proud of the work VU alumni are doing, whether in their fields of expertise, in their communities, or across the globe. Thank you to all of you for sharing your experience, your wisdom, and your ingenuity to change what needs to be changed and to enhance what needs to be improved. Tonight is not about numbers. Tonight is about respectful recognition, about acknowledgement, and outstanding achievement. Please join me in celebrating our remarkable awardees. Thank you so much for being with us.